Supreme Week 5 is here. It will be dropping March 25th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As you can see up here, we got all that detail in. You can calculate what it will be for you. Of course, this week is highlighted by the North Face collaboration or one of the North Face collaborations of the season. Usually you get a handful of them. Uh, we'll be looking at everything as always on supreme community it is ranked by upvotes so we're going to be looking at the best to the worst so to start things off we have this uh, yashika mf1 camera this is a disposable camera i believe and uh yeah uh we've seen supreme do some like polaroid stuff i think last season they had the little polaroid uh blanks that you could get to insert and then you know uh burn the image to those but yeah, I think these are all right, you know. It's hard to really say a whole lot about these Supreme accessories that are literally just the big, like, logo on it and then red or black. So uh, it's, it's cool. I, I guess I'd have to see the retail price to really have a, a feeling about it. Uh, next up, we have the Ice Climb hooded sweatshirt. And I like this. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. My favorite part about it is how you have this little dude down here in the corner actually climbing it. If it didn't have that, I probably wouldn't care for it at all, but um, yeah, just, you know, I think there's still some more that they could have done to this to make it a little bit better. Um, like a lot of the other, like the sleeves and then the hood, I don't really care about. I just like this full body print right here. Maybe they could have done, I don't know, some other interesting material that ties into the North Face collaboration, but you know, for for the most part, they don't really get too creative on the hoodies and then the tees when they do these collaborations. So, even seeing this all over print is kind of uh, a little bit more on the exciting side from things we've seen before. Uh, a lot of times, we'll just see a big like picture, and then uh, yeah, but cool, cool nonetheless. They got them on the back as well, so it's just the front and back print are the same. Uh, moving forward, we have the studded nupsy jacket so i don't believe these are actually studded i think it's just a like a studded design almost let me try to zoom in here yeah so it looks like i mean yeah this is just a, <laughs> a print of a like a studded print i don't know if you guys know what i'm trying to say but they're i'm pretty sure they're fake studs they're not like actual um studs going on is just a like a illusion almost i guess you could say and i've never been into puffers as far as the print goes though i'm i'm not really feeling the print either uh, i think they've done a lot better north face designs people seem to be digging it though we also have the ice climb t which you know once again is just the hoodie got the same graphic on the t-shirt I, I like it more on the t-shirt maybe there's less just like you know like i said kind of got too much going on with just the same graphic over and over um, goes up onto the hood and whatnot. So uh, maybe I like it a little bit more condensed on the tee. Uh, moving forward, we have the Hearts Arc Hooded Sweatshirt, which I don't think is a bad design, but I definitely wouldn't pay supreme prices for the design. You just have this Arc Supreme spell out, and then on the inside, you have the fill of the hearts. So not bad. We also have the Studded Mountain Light Jacket. I I've always liked this jacket as opposed to, or this blank or silhouette, I guess, uh, better description of it, opposed to the Nupsy. Uh, I've just been more of a fan of these, the mountain parkas. Uh, next up, we have the Nupsy vest, which is just, you know, same thing. This whole collection, other than the hoodie and the tee, are just the same thing, and I, I really am not feeling it. Uh, a lot better. There have been way better. North Face Designs. Before, we got the reverse box logo, um, where we have <laughs> World Famous on the front and then the Supreme Box logo over the back. Yeah, I, I've never really been crazy about these, like, fitted flat brims. Uh, so, I mean, it looks like they're getting a decent amount, you know, like two-thirds upvote ratio. We also have these soccer jerseys or football jerseys, depending on what you want to call it, but I think these are cool, uh, or at least the white and blue colorway that leading colorway I, I, I like this one i think it's cool my one critique for it is i wish it had a little bit different of a collar i'm not crazy about those like veed collars It'd be nice if they just had a uh, like a crew neck um or maybe a little actual collar like some of the the polo kits i suppose but yeah i, I like the design it looks cool it's a cool looking jersey this colorway i'd rock it it's nice uh, we also have the studded Nupsy blanket, you know, once again, uh, 
same exact design. It is cool to see them do accessories like this with the North Face collaborations. We've seen them do like tents. Um, I think they maybe did like a hammock once. I forget, but yeah, I, I do appreciate seeing those kinds of accessories or like a blanket, but I think they are usually dumb expensive. So <laughs> we also have this one, the studded Nupsi, uh, where are they call this studded small base camp duffel bag, 42 liters. It's a little bit better. Um, I, I appreciate it, or I prefer it to maybe the design of the clothing. We have the mesh uh, seersucker camp cap. Not liking the material it's made out of. Let me try to get a closer look for you guys so you can see. Yeah, interesting material. It kind of reminds me of the um, perforated denim jackets they did not too long ago. But yeah, that's a, that's a pass for me. The colorways aren't bad though. It, it, but it, it's hard to mess that up. <laughs> uh, we have the Old English Collar logo long sleeve top. You know, I, I like this in theory. Execution, maybe not as much. Um, the black one is probably my favorite just because the colorways, I'm not really digging. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not feeling any of the colorways, honestly, except for the black one. But I always like the, the like, collar branding. I've always thought that is a cool... Uh, cool way to go about adding your logo we have the studded uh, traction mule I don't know uh, we also have the utility tote and then uh, next up we have the everlasting hooded sweatshirt I do like the colorways for this I like the wash on it My favorite colorway is definitely this purple one I, I love the uh, that like uh, lilac or yeah I guess uh, lavender there you go this like lavender they have going on and then kind of the, the salmon they have in front of it and then the like light bluish greenish color it, it works really well the wash on it works really well looks like some old like vintage racing piece so uh, as much as I wear like old jerseys on here you guys know that this is more my style sorry there's a airplane taking up in the background always happens during these videos uh, we also have the Arab Arabic uh, logo soccer short matching the top that we saw before. I'm more interested in the top. I don't really like the gradient um, going down on the short. I think it's kind of weird if you have like a gradient top and then a gradient short, you know, especially when they're supposed to be put together. It means you just have like a break in it on one piece and then you go to the next piece and it's not continued. It's just like another break. So it kind of messes up the flow of it. Didn't mean to click that. We got the inside out logo sweater. Just a small stripe. Their sweaters are nice, but uh, that's a pass for me. Let me see a close-up of the inside out. Yeah, that's a big pass for me. Big skip. <laughs> I'm not feeling that at all. Uh, obviously, they just did it um, like inside out. If you flopped it out, you probably get, you know, <laughs> the outside in. <laughs> we got the studded Nupsy pant. That's a big pass. Big skip for me. Uh, I, I appreciate the black paneling they did on the other pieces. Maybe if they did some uh, knee patches here or something with the black paneling and look a little bit better uh, world famous six panel pretty basic uh, we have the pleated trouser which actually look pretty nice but I mean you can get these literally anywhere there's like no supreme branding on them either so not really any point in picking them up in my opinion we have the spray tartan shirt not bad uh, not br not bad uh, plaid colorways I suppose but it is spray, so it's like kind of blurred or, you know, got this spray paint effect. So uh, I'm, I'm not crazy about that. So pass for me on that. And that wraps up this week's drop list for Supreme Week 5. It's a, yeah, I, I guess there's some all right North Face collaboration pieces coming out of this week. But for the most part, I, I think we've seen a lot better North Face collaborations. And uh, as far as they go for me, it's been a while since I've really seen a North Face collab that I've been interested in i know some people have some people like that like faux fur one they did last which i was not feeling at all and then i think we had the statue of liberty one which is comparable to this with like the all over print but yeah i don't know definitely prefer the statue of liberty to the studded jackets but i like this all over print ice climber more than the statue of liberty but yeah, still, still like a pretty mediocre North Face clap in my opinion. What do you guys think of it? As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.